In this problem, we're told a truck with 0.42 meter radius tires traveling 32 meters per second. What is the angular velocity of the rotating tires in radians per second? And what is this in revolutions per minute? So what we're going to be doing in this problem is solving for omega, which is the angular velocity. So we want to find what the angular velocity is. And what we have is this tire. It's going to be rotating at, or its linear velocity is going to be 32 meters per second. And we know the radius is 0.42 meters. So how do we find angular velocity? So the way you do it is by using this formula, which basically tells us the linear velocity is equal to r times omega. So the radius times the angular velocity. So what you should notice is we're given v and we're given r, and so we're trying to find omega. So what we would do is just divide both sides by r. So you'll get omega equals the velocity over r. And so all we got to do really is just plug it in, and it'll give it, and we'll get omega. So omega equals the velocity. In this case, it's point, sorry, it's 32 divided by 0.42. So when you go ahead and do this, do 32 divided by 0.42. And when you do that, you'll get 76.1904. And then keep in mind, uh, this is in meters per second. This is in meters. And what happens is the meters cancel, essentially. And it's going to become unitless. And it's going to become radians. So when you do this, it becomes radians per second. So this is your answer to the first part. So what is the angular velocity in radians per second? So 76.1904. 1904 you can round however you want but now what we want to do is find it in revolutions per minute so to convert it 76.1904 radians per second so what we want to do is convert radians to revolutions and then seconds to minutes so let's start with seconds so we know that there are 60 seconds for every minute so basically what you'll do is just multiply by 60 that'll cancel the seconds now we have radians per minute and then we want to convert radians to revolutions so you need to know that one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So if we want to convert from revolutions, we just got to multiply by two pi. Or sorry, in this case, we're dividing by two pi. So two pi radians, that'll cancel the radians on the bottom, which is equal to one revolution. So basically you just do 76.1904, times it by 60, and then divide by two pi. And you'll have revolutions on top and minutes on the bottom, which is what we want. So go ahead and plug this in. 76.1904 times 60 and then divided by 2 pi and when you go ahead and do that you'll get 727.5647 uh, i'm just going to round to 727.6 and then this is going to be in revolutions per minute so revolutions per minute that's going to be the answer, or sorry, 727.6 revolutions per minute. That's your answer to the second part. And then this is the first part. So uh, yeah, these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.